I tell this story most every night, and we'll keep on doing it until the day we quit doing it. You pick your heroes, you pick them good, few and far between. I've done that in my life, so let's do one for all them good daddies still left out there one time. Here we go. Well, these old work boots, they become my Sunday shoes. And these old careless hands. I've grown accustomed to I can't hardly fight the way I'm turning out to be Lord, I'm seeing my old man in me well, This old cur dog has become my best friend Yesterday we hit them woods and tomorrow we'll do it again. There's something about an old creek bottom makes me feel free. Lord, I'm seeing my old man in me. And I can't have That's what I thought about, and that's what I said when this whole thing started with the pandemic. That I think when we get on the other side of it, we'll appreciate so much more yeah. what we have. I mean, we, we all we're all kind of jaded in this uh, society. Yeah, it is, man. It's like uh, I don't want to say I'd come accustomed to it, but I after you've been doing it as long as we have, and people have been showing up this long, you know, I I never got on the bus with any fear that I wasn't going to have a good crowd or things like that. Mm -hmm. And then when that's not there for you anymore, it makes you realize how lucky you really were. Um, so, like I said, man, we're uh, every opportunity we get, we're gonna go out there and have fun. Whether it's two people or two thousand, we're going to give it to them. So and you've been in the studio too. I know you've released about an album a year since you yep. started a decade ago, and you got a new one coming out in September. Yep, got a new one coming out in September. It's our ninth album. That makes me feel old too, but it also makes me feel accomplished, and it makes me feel appreciative. Of, I mean, there's there's people that have had. You know, from the outside looking in, people think that have had way bigger careers than I have that ain't put out nine records. Um, so that's a testament again to the fans and, and them supporting us for so long. Um, just unbelievable, man. When this thing started, my, I didn't know what my goal was, but getting close to 10 albums in 10 years, man, that's, that's my goal. And by next May, I think we're going to accomplish that, and that's going to be incredible.
here comes this week's Honky Tonk Texas Fabulous Flashback. They were drinking whiskey to the break of day. The walls of more Frank rolled down your windows and let it play and raise your glasses high. Raise them up! All the crazy country now. Come on! Six albums now, um, and you wrote everything. Every single song that you've released and put on the albums was written by you? Yeah, absolutely. I've written every single lyric to every uh, to every song. Um, it's just a blessing to be able to write songs. I've done it a lot of different ways, you know, just but mostly alone. Upstairs at my house or on the front porch or up in a deer stand, something something cool will come to you. Uh, but uh, it's always it's always been my favorite part of it is the writing. King, King, King of the Road. That was this week's Honky Tonk Texas Fabulous Flashback. Since 2008, Honky Tonk Texas and Silsby has been serving up non-stop fun for Southeast Texas with live music and delicious adult beverages. Oh, and be ready to dance your butt off to the best in local, regional, and national touring bands. Of course, date night is every Thursday. And don't forget about the Honky Tonk Grill. Visit them online at facebook.com slash honkytonktx and at honkytonktexas.us. Honky Tonk Texas and Silsby has been serving it all up since 2008. Where have you been?